excited for the Derby. So you are taking a look at Churchill Downs, people in Louisville getting ready to party down. Of course, the Derby, the Kentucky Derby is tomorrow, but we're sharing some pretty neat stories of some local people Tracy, who have gone for, what is it, 40 years? Almost. Um, he started going with his college roommate way back in the day, and then he's just kept going, and he got married a few years ago, and so now his wife is into the whole thing. They go for the whole week, though, because this is wow. a party, and they tour the wine country down there and have a great time, and they invited us to their home to take a look at some of the souvenirs. The Derby is the greatest two minutes in sports, true. There's the spectacle of racing, there's the spectacle of people watching, there's the gambling aspect, there's the social aspect, we have friends that live back there. It's a week that I do not miss every year. And I assume you like horses. Yeah, and that's part of the deal. You kind of have to like horses, but we've had enough people come to the Derby with us over the years that know nothing about horse racing, but love the experience. Nothing better than when they play my old Kentucky home as the horses come on the track for the post. You know you're nine minutes away in the greatest two minutes in sports is about to happen. So this is a panorama of Churchill Downs racetrack. The finish line of the race is here. The start of the Kentucky Derby is up here and they go around one time and finish there. That's a mile and a quarter. Where do you guys um, sit? We have seats that are actually right across from the eighth pole, so we have very good seats. We, nice. I used to be in the infield with the mosh pit many years ago, which is a complete zoo. If you want a real derby experience, there's your spot. You go underneath tunnels to get to the infield, and it's just crazy. One of the greatest things about the derby has to be the hats and the fashion. So we're asking Jean to come in, Gary's bride with some of the hats she's worn the past few years. These are unbelievable. And it's so much fun. Is it? Yes. So um, this was my first hat. So for the wow. first year that I went and uh, got to go design this at the um, premier hat shop in Louisville. Oh. So that was really fun. And um, this one I got in Leavenworth on a girls weekend. And this is last year's, and I actually got this one at Churchill Downs. So, oh, um, my gosh. just so much fun. To and what color are you going for this year? Do you know? I haven't decided yet. It's best to pick the dress first and then go for the hat because otherwise it can be a real challenge to find the right dress for the hat that you fell in love with. Absolutely, so. that's a good tip. Good tip if you're going to the Derby. So, Gary. How about the horses? Have you made your pick? Uh, I've narrowed it down to a couple different horses, but I really need a horse named Taprit, who I have in multiple wagers two months ago, <laughs> that if he wins, I'm gonna be paid very handsome. And he will be buying us all mint juleps. Ah, uh, yes, the mint julep. That's Gary and Jean Beck. They live in Vancouver, but they're not there now. They're down enjoying the Kentucky Derby. Oh, Have fun, right. you two. <laughs> Boy, she had some killer hats. I know, she looks <laughs> great. <laughs>